This is the helpful lock picker here. The video I have for you today is a do-it-yourself on how to rekey your home locks. What we have in front of us is a common rekeying kit that you can easily buy online or from a hardware store. And this rekeying kit is for a Schlage lock and it says all you need is a screwdriver. What we have here is our Schlage lock with the key that currently works to it. And then on the right we have our screwdriver. Hopefully this video will show you that rekeying your locks is not too difficult and it's something that you can certainly do yourself. Now, taking a little bit closer look at the kit, you can see that it says on the front, rekeying set for up to six locks, takes only minutes, three keys included, no locksmith needed, lock not included. And then in the front, we have a plug follower that will help us take out the plug in the lock, a pickle fork, which helps take off some of the backs of locks, our keys, our new key pins, some tweezers in the back, and this right here can help you get some of the lock cylinders out of different types of locks. Sometimes there's a little button you need to depress, and this will help you do that. All right, let's get this kit open and we can take a closer look at it. Now that we got our kit open, we can take a closer look at everything. First off, here's our new key. And then here's the key pins we're going to use to repin our lock. In order to get the core out, we're going to use this plug follower. These tweezers are really great for picking up the key pens so you don't drop them. These are so easy to lose if they land on the floor. This will help get some of the clips off the back of some locks. This can help depress a little pen to help get the doorknobs off of some locks. And then we got just the instruction booklets. And we'll see what it takes to get our lock rekeyed. The first thing we're going to want to do is make sure that the lock that we are going to rekey has a key that operates it. So I'm going to insert the key and turn. If you do not have the operating key, please refer to my video number 47 on how to shim a lock open. You will need to be able to get this lock opened in order to rekey it. Now we're ready to get started with rekeying the lock. First thing we're going to do is make sure the key we have to the lock does in fact operate it. So we're going to insert our key and make sure that it can turn the lock easily. After that, we're going to take the new keys that came with the lock and make sure that they are able to insert into the keyway. Now, Schleg has a few different keyways, so not every key with Schleg written on it will fit into this lock. If you run into a difficulty where your new keys do not fit into the lock, what you can do is go down to the hardware store and they will take out a key blank and then they will match it up and find a key blank that fits. If you do not have the working key, we will need to be able to get this lock open. So please review my video number 47 on how to shim a lock and then proceed to the following steps afterwards. Now the next step is going to be how to take the back piece off of your lock. It is beyond the scope of this video to show you how to take the back piece off of every lock. Some locks have a little sir clip on the back, which is a C-shaped clip that will go around the back here. This tool is really great. You just push the clip off. On this lock, it uses Phillips head screws. So all I have to do is just unscrew both of the screws. And then when they are off, I will be able to take the back piece off. And then when we will be ready to proceed with the next steps. Now you just need to be very careful that you do not lose any of your screws, your sir clips, 
they can be pretty easy to misplace. But now that we got the back off, we are ready to proceed with the rekeying. The next step is going to be removing the lock cylinder. In order to do this, we're going to use our working key and our plug follower. When you look at the plug follower, it has two areas. This area with a gap and the flat area. We're going to pay attention to the flat area because that's pretty important. So what we're going to do is insert our key, turn about 90 degrees, and then take the flat part of our plug follower that lines up pretty well with the back of the lock. You're going to keep that in line with the center of the lock here. And then you're going to just push out the core and leave the plug follower in the lock. And this is going to hold all the pins inside that are here in place. And we're going to be careful not to lose any of our key pins. Now that we got the core of the lock out, we're going to just remove each key pin. I'm just going to dump them all down here. And we just need to be very careful that um, we don't drop any of them because these can be very easily lost and end up on the floor. Now I'm going to take our new key and insert it into the lock. One thing you may notice on this lock is that it's a six pin lock, one, two, three, four, five, six, but we're going to repin to a five pin key because that's a very common key that you'll see in your home. So for this video, we're just going to repin this to five. One, two, three, four, five. The next step's going to be, I have the instructions opened up and it tells you for the key, which color key pin we're going to need. The first is going to be a silver, then a purple, then a gold, then a green, then a red. So most likely, you're not going to have a pinning mat to help hold all these pens in place. The pens can really roll off the table very easily and get lost. My quick fix for that is I suggest you take a piece of corrugated cardboard like this if you have it available in your home and just pull the back off of it. and you can keep your pens very easily separated in here. Now, I'm gonna open up my pens here and I'm gonna dump them onto my little cardboard penning tray. I'm gonna be very careful not to lose them. Now we're gonna separate the key pens based off of the instructions. We're gonna count back five because it's gonna be a five pen lock. This is gonna be Pen 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So pen 1 is going to go here. And pen 1 is a silver pen. So I'm going to use my tweezers they provided and pick it up and put it in slot 1. 1, 2, 3, 4. All right, so that's 5. The next one's going to be the purple pen. And we're going to just pick it up carefully with our tweezers, try not to drop them. And then we got pen 2 right there. Now 3 is a gold. Four is a green, and five is a red. The next step is going to be installing the new key pens. If you haven't done so already, we're going to insert the new key into the lock. And then we're going to install each key pen in the correct order and make sure they sit flush at the top. So the first one was a silver. One thing you need to know with these Schleg pens are is that one end is pointed and the other end is flat. You're going to want to put the pointed end down. And this is key pin one, so that's going to go closest to where the key inserts. And you can see that that's nice and flush at the top. If it is recessed or sticking out, that would indicate that the key pen is not the correct height and we would need to use a different key pen. Now you just got to be careful that you don't drop these. These are very easy to be lost and dropped on the floor. And it's going to go 
one at a time. And on this lock, we're only reprinting it to five because that's the most common lock you're going to run into. And I just got to get this last red one in. And now you can see that they're nice and flush at the top. And now we have a new working key for the lock. Now I just want to show you a close-up with the new pens. You can see that they sit nice and flush at the top. And that shows you that this new key will operate the lock. Now that we got the lock repent, we will save all these key pens just in case we need to repen another lock. We can put them in a little bag somewhere and keep them safe. Now that we have successfully rekeyed our lock, we're going to reinstall the plug into the lock. In order to do this, we're going to want to place the key pens at about a 90 degree angle from the driver pens that you can see are lined up here. So this lines up nicely with the plug follower and all we're going to do is just push the plug through and allow the follower to fall out the back. Then we're going to turn the lock and see that the new key smoothly operates it. We do not want to pull out the key at this time because you may end up shooting out all the pins in the lock and we'll have to completely put the lock back together. Now that we have a working key for our lock we need to reinstall the back piece. Every lock is different. Some use a sir clip which is a little c-shaped clip that snaps on the back. Some use torque screws. Some use Phillips head screws. Every locks a little bit different. It's beyond the scope of this video to show you how to reinstall the back piece to every lock. But all you need to know is that they're all usually pretty intuitive and you can figure them out without too much difficulty. Once the back's on, you can safely remove your key. And now we have a successfully rekeyed lock. And I hope that you saw that this wasn't too difficult. It's a pretty simple step, especially if you use a home rekeying kit. You can totally do this yourself. And congrats on rekeying your lock. As a quick recap, this was a do-it-yourself video on how to rekey your home locks yourself using a rekeying kit that you can easily get online or from a local hardware store. This kit was excellent and included everything you need to get started. It came with enough key pens to rekey up to six locks, a plug follower for you to get your plug out to rekey, um, some removal tools. This helps get the C-clips off of some locks. This helps get the doorknob off of some locks, and it came with the tweezers that can help grasp each key pen so you do not drop them. Those are so easy to lose. We have three keys that now operate our new lock very smoothly. And then my favorite part is everything came color-coded, so you did not need to measure anything. You just needed to match the color to the correct key pen slot and then you would be able to rekey this lock without any measurements. With kits like this, you can easily rekey your locks without any prior experience. This is something you can definitely do. It can save you a ton of money, and I thank you so much for checking it out. If you have any suggestions for videos you'd like to see me make, please leave them in the comments below. Thank you for checking out this video, and if you'd like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, I hope you have a great day.